Day 121, 2 Samuel 5, 1 through 10, and 1 Chronicles 11 through 12. David made king over Israel. Then came all the tribes of Israel to David unto Hebron and spake, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. Also in time past, when Saul was king over us, thou wast he that ledest out and broughtest in Israel. And the Lord said to thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be a captain over Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king, to Hebron, and King David made a league with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed King David over Israel. David was thirty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years. In Hebron he reigned over Judah seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem he reigned thirty and three years over all Israel and Judah. David captures Zion. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem, and unto the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the land, which spake unto David, saying, Except thou take away the blind and the lame, thou shalt not come in hither, thinking, David cannot come in hither. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion, the same as the city of David. And David said on that day, Whosoever getteth up to the gutter, and smiteth the Jebusites, and the blind, that are hated of David's soul, he shall be chief and captain. Wherefore they said, The blind and the lame shall not come into the house. So David dwelt in the fort, and called it the city of David. And David built round about from Milo and inward. And David went on and grew great, and the Lord God of hosts was with him. David made king over Israel. Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover in time past, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that ledest out and broughtest in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king to Hebron, and David made a covenant with them in Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel, according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. David captures Zion. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were the inhabitant of the land. And in the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the castle of Zion, which is the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab, the son of Jeriah, went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Milo round about, and Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. David's Mighty Men These are also the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in his kingdom, and with all Israel, to make him king, according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David have. Jashabim and Hakmonite, the chief of the captains, he lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Ahohite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pastamim, and there the Philistines were gathered together to battle where was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they set themselves in the midst of that parcel, and delivered it, and slew the Philistines. And the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now three of the thirty captains went down to the rock to David, into the cave of Adullam, and the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephaim. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me drink of the water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. And the three brake through the host of the Philistines and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord. 
and said, My God forbid it me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these three mightiest, and Abishai, the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three. For lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them and had a name among the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain. Howbeit he attained not to the first three. Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, the son of a valiant man, Kabzeel, who had done many acts, he slew two lion-like men of Moab. Also he went down and slew a lion in a pit on a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high. And in the Egyptian's hand was a spear, like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three. And David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Asahel the brother of Joab, Elhanan the son of Dodo of Bethlehem, Shemath the Herorite, Helez the Penelonite, Ira the son of Ikesh the Tekoite, Abiezer the Athathite, Antithite, Sebekai the Hushathite, Eli the Ahohite, Maharai the Netophathite, Heled the son of Baana the Netophathite, Ithai, the son of Rabbi of Gabeah, that pertained to the children of Benjamin, Benai, the Perathonite, Horai, of the brooks of Gash, Abiel, the Arbathite, Asmaveth, the Baharumite, Eliaba, the Shalbanite, the sons of Hashem, the Gizanite, Jonathan, the son of Shaij, the Hararite, Ahim, the son of Sukkar, the Hararite, Eliphal, the son of Ur, Hefer the Mechorethite, Ahijah the Pelonite, Hezro the Carmelite, Naarai the son of Ezbi, Joel the brother of Nathan, Mebar the son of Hagari, Zelek the Ammonite, Naharai the Barathite, the armor bearer of Joab the son of Zariah, Ira the Ithrite, Gerab the Ithrite, Uriah the Hittite, Zabad the son of Ali, Adina, the son of Shija, the Reubenite, a captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him. Hanan, the son of Makkah, the Joshaphat, the Mithnite, Uzziah, the Ashrathite, Shammah and Jehiel, the son of Hothan, the Ararite, Jediel, the son of, of Shimri, and Joha, his brother, the Tizite, Eliel, the Mahavite, and Jerabai, and Josaviah, the son of El Naam, and Ithma the Moabite, Eliel and Obed, and Jesiel and Mezbaite. David's army. Now these are they that came to David to Ziklag. While he yet kept himself close because of Saul the son of Kish, and they were among the mighty men, helpers of the war. They were armed with bows, and could use both the right hand and the left in hurling stones and shooting arrows out of a bow, even of Saul's brethren of Benjamin. The chief was Ahayir, Zir, then Joash, the sons of Shammah, and Gibeathite, and Jeziel the Pellet, the sons of Asmaveth, and Barakah, and Jehu the Antithite, and Ismaiah the Gibeonite, a mighty man among the thirty, and over the thirty, and Jeremiah, and Jahaziel, and Johanan, and Jasabad, the Gedarathite, Eluzai, and Jeremoth, and Beeliah, and Shemariah, and Shephatiah, and Herophite, Elkanah, and Josiah, and Azareel, and Joazer, and Jasabim, the Korhites, and Joalah, and Zebediah, the sons of Jeroham of Gedor. And of the Gadites there separated themselves unto David, into the hold, to the wilderness men of might, and men of war fit for the battle, that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and were as swift as the rose upon the mountains. Azair the first, Obadiah the second, Eliab the third, Mishmanah the fourth, Jeremiah the fifth, Atai the sixth, 
Eliel the seventh, Johanan the eighth, Elzabad the ninth, Jeremiah the tenth, Machbani the eleventh. These were the sons of Gad, captains of the hosts. One of the least was over an hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. These are they that went over Jordan in the first month, when it had overflown all his banks, and they put to flight all them of the valleys, both toward the east and toward the west. And there came of the children of Benjamin and Judah to the hold unto David. And David went out to meet them, and answered, and said unto them, If ye become peaceably unto me to help me, mine heart shall be knit unto you. But if ye become to betray me to mine enemies, seeing there is no wrong in mine hands, the God of our fathers look thereon, and rebuke it. Then the Spirit came upon Amasai, who was chief of the captains, and he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thou son of Jesse. Peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thine helpers, for thy God helpeth thee. Then David received them, and made them captains of the band. And there fell some of Manasseh to David, when he came with the Philistines against Saul to battle. But they helped him not. For the lords of the Philistines, upon advisement, sent him away, saying, He will fall to his master Saul, to the jeopardy of our heads. As he went to Ziklag, there fell to him of Manasseh, Adnah, and Josabad, and Jediel, and Michael, and Josabad, and Elihu, and Zilthi, captains of the thousands that were of Manasseh. And they helped David against the band of the rovers, for they were all mighty men of valor, and were captains in the host. For at that time, day by day, there came to David to help him, until it was a great host, like the host of God. And these are the numbers of the bands that were ready armed to the war, and came to David to Hebron to turn the kingdom of Saul to him, according to the word of the Lord. The children of Judah that bear shield and spear were six thousand and eight hundred, ready armed to the war. Of the children of Simeon, mighty men of valor for the war, seven thousand and one hundred. Of the children of Levi, four thousand and six hundred. And Jehoiada, was the leader of the Aaronites, and with him were three thousand and seven hundred. And Zadok, the young man mighty of valor, and of his father's house, twenty and two captains. And of the children of Benjamin, the kindred of Saul, three thousand, for hitherto the greatest part of them had kept the ward of the house of Saul. And of the children of Ephraim, twenty thousand and eight hundred, mighty men of valor, famous throughout the house of their fathers. And of the half-tribe of Manasseh, eighteen thousand, which were expressed by name, to come and make David king. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. The heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulun, which was went forth to battle, expert in war, with all the instruments of war, fifty thousand, which could keep rank, that were not of double heart. And Naphtali a thousand captains, and with them the shield and spear thirty and seven thousand. And of the Danites expert in war twenty and eight thousand and six hundred. And of Asher such as went forth to battle, expert in war, forty thousand. And on the other side of Jordan, of the Reubenites, and the Gadites, and of the half-tribe of Manasseh, with all manner of instruments of war battle, an hundred and twenty thousand. All these men of war that could keep rank, came with a perfect heart to Hebron to make David king over all Israel. And all the rest also of Israel were of one heart to make David king. And there they were with David three days, eating and drinking. For their brethren had prepared for them. Moreover, they that were nigh them, even unto Issachar and Zebulun and Naphtali, but brought bread on asses and on camels and on mules and on oxen and meat, meal, cakes of figs, and bunches of raisins and wine, and oil and oxen and sheep abundantly, for there was joy in Israel.